Hey guys, Josh here with Josh and Hunter's Adventures, and we're reviewing the Daiwa Tatula CT. Let's check it out. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Like I said, today we are reviewing the Daiwa Tatula CT in the 100 size. If this is your first time visiting our channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you know when we put out videos. Let's get into a few features that I like about this reel. First thing that you're gonna notice when you pick up one of these reels is how comfortable they are in the hands. I mean, they are just so comfortable very nice to fish with all day long. Um, one of the great things that I like about these, especially the CT, is I love these grips. Very, very comfortable grips. Just I, I, probably the most comfortable grips that I have ever used on a fishing reel. I just love the way they feel. Um, one of the things, uh, this is, like I said, the 6-3 to 1. Um, if you're not familiar with the Tatula line, what they have is a T-wing system. Okay, I'm going to show you what that is. Uh, the T-wing system, when you press the button to release the spool, you can see right there that that opens up. Okay, right here, this little wing opens up. So what that does is, is that helps you getting backlashes. Um, it, less friction on the line when it's going through for farther casting distance. Um, these reels cast, I mean, they will cast a long, long way. I absolutely love these reels. This model right here comes in weighing at 7.4 ounces, uh, so they are a little bit heavier than the 100. I'm going to sort of compare them to you. I have one of the 100s. I'm going to set it beside. I'm going to show you the, some of the little differences in between the two. Uh, it's not going to be a comparison video. just going to show you what they look like side by side. Uh, they will hold, this 100 will hold 150 yards of 12-pound monofilament. So it holds quite a bit of line. Um, they are so super smooth, though, guys. Look at that. Look at that. I love these reels. And they, the, the, I swear, if you will pick one up, you will see what I'm talking about, how comfortable they really are and how well they actually cast. Guys, you can skip with these up under docks, limbs, and, I mean, it's almost backlash-free. Once you get it set the way that you want it for the lure that you're casting, it's... Perfect. I mean, just skips so good. So let's go ahead and set the 100 and the CT side by side so I can show you just a little bit of the size difference. All right, again, guys, this is not going to be a comparison video, but I'm going to show you that they are a little bit of size difference in the two. That is the 100, and this is the CT. Um, it's probably hard to tell, but uh, I'll pick them up and show you guys um, the difference. All right, so you can see that there is a slight little difference there in size. Uh, the grips are different on the CT rather than the, uh, the Daiwa Tatula 100. One of the things that makes this reel so smooth is it has seven ball bearings and one roller bearing. And you can see there how smooth this reel is. But we're going to go out and cast it a little bit and show you how the reel casts and uh, let you see what kind of distance we're getting with it. Uh, so let's go outside and give it a cast. All right, guys, we're out here at the pond. We're going to make a few casts with the reel here. Got it all spooled up with some line. We got a um, uh, trilene big game on there. We're going to be using a uh, ducket uh, six foot ten ghost. We're going to be throwing this uh, little Strike King square bill here. We're going to make a few casts. Um, the way I've got it set up, now this is going to be totally different, uh, you know, however you set your reels up. I'll let you see when I push the button about how fast it's going. So it's going pretty fast. Uh, I like mine a little bit looser. I've got it set on right now 14 over here on the, uh, the Magforce brake here. So we're going to make a few casts here and let you see how it does. Very, very, very smooth. Like I said, those grips are so nice on the CT. Apologize for the shooting in the back. They're having a uh, skeet shoot in the uh, background back here. So, make a few more casts, show you. 
really, really smooth reel. Again, I'm not going to go through, uh, like I said, the, uh, the settings. Uh, that's all dependent on uh, you and how you like to cast it. And, and you know, you may be a beginner, so uh, you'll want to set your spool tension just a little bit different. I'll make one more cast. All right, guys. Like I said, uh, the Tatula CT, uh, they are just a little bit heavier than the, uh, the 100s, um, uh, but they, by far, they, uh, they are probably my favorite one, the CT is. Um, the grips on them, they're great. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you learned something. Maybe you're looking at buying one of these and uh, this will uh, help you in deciding whether or not you want to get one of these. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment down below and I'll be glad to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, please go down and give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you know when we put out videos. Guys, I'm Josh for Josh and Hunter's Adventures and we'll see you next time.